This is part 54 of JavaScript tutorial. In part 53 of this video series, we have discussed the syntactical differences between objects created using object literal and constructor function. In this video, we'll discuss the main difference between them and when to use one over the other. Objects created using object literals are singletons. This means when a change is made to the object, it affects that object across the entire script. Let's understand what we mean by this statement with an example. So let's go ahead and create an employee object using literal notation. We want this employee object to have name property and let's initialize that to John. Now let's create another variable. Let's name it new employee and initialize that with the employee object. So at the moment we've got two employee objects, employee and new employee. Now let's go ahead and print the values of the name property of both the employee objects. So document.write before changes and let's append an HTML break Now what we want to do is print employee.name and then whatever we have got in the name property of the employee object and let's append an HTML break. And let's actually do the same thing with new employee object. So new employee.name equals new employee dot name and let's include an additional HTML break here. Now let's go ahead and change the name property of the new employee object to Mary and then once again print the values of name property of both the employee and new employee object and let's change the text here to after changes. All right, let's save these and let's reload this page. Now look at this, before changes, both employee and new employee object name property is set to John. And then we are changing the name property of the new employee object to Mary. And then again, we are printing the name property of both employee and new employee. And look at the output here, new employee dot name is changed to Mary which is expected, but look at the name property of the original employee object. That is also changed to Mary. So objects created using object literals are singletons. This means when a change is made to the object, it affects that object across the entire script. Object defined with a function constructor lets you have multiple instances of that object. This means change made to one instance will not affect other instances. Let's look at this in action. So now let's go ahead and define a constructor function to create an employee object. This dot name equals John. So we have a constructor function which can help us create an employee object. Now let's go ahead and create an employee object. New EMP. So we are using the constructor function to create an instance of the employee object. Similarly, let's create another employee object. Let's actually name this new employee. So again, here we have two employee objects, employee and new employee. And we are printing the name property of both the employee objects. And we are changing the name property of the new employee object to Mary. And then again, we are printing the name property of both the employee objects. So let's save these changes, reload the page. Now look at this, before changes, both the object's name property contains John. And then we are changing the name property of the new employee object to Mary. So name, I mean new employee dot name is set to Mary. But look at the name property of the employee object. It is still John. So object defined with a function constructor lets you have multiple instances of that object. This means change made to one instance will not affect other instances. So when to use one over the other? If you need multiple instances of the object, use constructor function. Whereas if you need just one instance of the object, then use little notation. Thank you for listening and have a great day.